Indiana's Mike Pence to stand up in this moment in history would be the quickest way to get a dangerous person out of leadership. Our coverage of the Capitol chaos continues tonight with new reaction from about a dozen protesters who gathered downtown in the fort today, lending their voices to the calls for President Trump to be removed from office. Good evening, we're glad you're here tonight. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Linda Jackson. The protest follows the Capitol riots last Wednesday and tonight. Sport Wings NBC reporter Louis Tran tells us if the president does not resign, the people in that group in the fort are calling for Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. Louis? Co-testers at the rally were very clear. They think the president should be removed from office, and they want to set a precedent for future elected officials. Last Wednesday, chaos at the nation's capital. A mob of Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol. Many are seen clashing with police. Monday, members of a local group called the United Activists responded. An organizer tells me the group is calling for a peaceful transition between the current administration and President-elect Joe Biden's team. They're also calling for President Donald Trump to resign. If he doesn't, the organizer says they want Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. To stand up in this moment in history would be the quickest way to get a dangerous person out of leadership. This is Kimberly Kozan. She says the violence at the Capitol last Wednesday was the last straw. Kozan says invoking the 25th Amendment would send a message to all future elected officials and it would stop the violence. And it's time for us as people to figure out how to come together for our common best interest. I understand where people are coming from. I talk with PFW's president of the College Republicans of Fort Wayne, Caleb McKay, to get his thoughts. He tells me he understands why demonstrators are frustrated, but he says members of the mob who attack officers at the nation's capital do not represent the Republican Party and their values. I share in the sentiments that this is wrong. However, McKaig says invoking the 25th Amendment would only divide the country more and could create further tension. Any reactionary decisions are only going to add fuel to the fire. I do not think that anything more than taking a step back, assessing exactly what happened, understanding that this could never happen again, is what we should be doing. The protests in downtown Fort Wayne began at 5 p.m. and ended at 6. Louis.